You guys, we're looking at a back step counter. My partner, he's in my guard and he's going to control my ankle here. He's going to reverse grip. Can you reverse grip? He's going to control my knee with his leg. He's going to control my shoulder with his hand. And now he's got my knee. He's got my knee pinched. He's got a nice control. Lower your hips a bit, Alpha. Right here, guys. This is a very dangerous position for me because my partner's pinning my shoulders. He's pinning my ankle. Let's rotate a bit. When my, patch, when my partner pin, pins my shoulders and ankle, it's very hard enough for me to invert my guard. Very, very difficult. Here, Alpha is going to strip his right leg free. Go ahead. Once he strips his right leg free, now he's passing my guard. He's attacking my knee. He's taking my knees out of my chest. He's pointing my knees away from him. He's establishing side control. Okay. Very, very powerful control for the man on top. Whenever somebody does this and they backstep, can you rotate a bit? Whenever somebody captures your knee, you want to bridge into their knee right here. See this spot right here? I bridge just like this and I extend alpha. Okay. So come again. As he captures my knee, the knee that's captured, my right knee, is going to bridge. I'm bridging inside his knee. When I do that, I'll be able to collapse alpha's base. Can okay, go back? The other thing I want to do is I want to kick my ankle free. Can you grab a first grip? Look, I kick my ankle free. See? I kick my ankle free. See that again? Let's rotate. Start from uh, facing me here, facing me. See, my knee is not captured. As soon as he captures my knee, look how I'm on the inside of his knee. I bridge inside his knee. I kick my leg free and I start to pummel my feet inside. Once I pummel my feet inside, I escape my hips. Can you stay standing here, Alpha? I control both legs. Look how I control both legs. I'm gripping onto his far leg. I like to pass my head to the other side. And now I'm completely underneath his hips. From here, I like to collect both legs in a double trouble. And I like to keep my head in between his guard, okay, between his legs. Now I have his legs completely separated. I have one leg on one side of my body and the other leg on the other side of my body. Let's see it again. My partner's passing my guard. As he goes negative here, he passes negative. Look how I bridge inside his knee. Be gentle when you do this, guys. You don't want to bridge too hard with your partner. You just want to kind of give him a little push, okay? Because you're on the inside of his knee, he's going to collapse. You can see here, don't move, don't move. you can see that I'm holding on his ankle and I'm pushing on his knee. Okay, this counter pressure here is going to collapse even the strongest athlete. So I'm here like this. He starts to give me his back. Look, I bridge. Once I bridge, I start to pummel. I want to get to this far leg. See how my right hand goes to the far leg? I pass my whole body underneath. I sweep my partner. I try to see grip now. I see grip and pass my head in between his legs. I go into my violin grip here, just like this. I'm controlling his knee. I'm controlling the ankle and I'm controlling his knee. Guys, this is a very advanced maneuver. In this uh, channel, we're gonna be doing basic and advanced maneuvers sometimes, okay? It's very important that you learn both. Slowly, you have to graduate to these complex advanced maneuvers. That's just the nature of Jiu Jitsu, okay? Things get a little bit complex. I'm here like this, my partner goes negative. He starts passing, I bridge. I collapse my partner's base. I kick my leg free. I start to invert my hips. I start to get upside down. I go double trouble with my head in between. Okay? If your head doesn't land in between, go C grip, pass the head, trap. And now of course, we've exposed his ankle here. And you can start breaking his leg. Guys, give it a try. See you in the next video.